Before going on site, you would have to make sure that you have the latest firmware file for your COMEX 200. So you can download this file from schneider-electric.com website. You go to support, download documents and software. And then you search for COMEX 200. And you would have to look for the file called firmware. So you would save this file under your USB key. Make sure that the USB key is empty and rename the firmware file, you just call it upgrade. Before the commissioning, you will have received your COMEX 200. When you have it, it comes with all the connectors. Uh, in the box, you will also find the installation guide of the COMEX 200 and the labels that you can use for your digital inputs. Before going on site, if you plan to use GPRS dongle to communicate, you would have to prepare the GPRS dongle. So you need to open it and then to introduce the SIM card in the GPRS dongle. So then you close it and your GPRS dongle can then be used. And the last thing before going on site is you would have to make sure that you downloaded the latest firmware version for the COMEX and that you have placed it on a USB key. When you arrive on site, you are going to install the COMEX 200 on the DIN rail. And then connect the various connectors. So first thing is the power supply. In this example, we are going to use the 24 volt DC power supply. Then the communication with meters. So in our example, we are using this RJ45 cable to communicate with power meters. So I connect it. In this example, we are also going to retrieve some analog input information. So here we have a temperature sensor. So I'm going to connect it to the analog input of the COMEX. After this, before uh, powering on the COMEX, we have first to connect the GPRS dongle if you plan to use any. And I also need to make sure that I install the latest firmware version of, on the COMEX 200. So on the USB key that contains this uh, latest firmware version, I will connect it to the USB connector of the COMEX 200. So now my COMEX 200 is ready to be powered on. So as it turns on, you are first going to see the power LED that is orange. And once the COMEX has fully started, you will see that this LED will turn green. After some 10 minutes, you are going to see that the power LED of the COMEX 200 turns green, which means that it has finished to start and that the firmware has been installed on the COMEX 200. So now I can remove my USB key. I will not need it anymore. The next step is to configure your COMEX 200 which is something that you can do using a laptop, a tablet or a smartphone. 
In our example, we are going to use a laptop to configure it and we are going to connect the laptop using an Ethernet cable for the configuration of the COMEX 200. So in this case, you connect the Ethernet cable to the port 2 of the COMEX. Once you have connected your COMEX 200 with your laptop, you will go to the network menu of Windows and from here it will automatically detect the COMEX 200 as part of your network. This is because the COMEX 200 is supporting DPWS. So you just click on COMEX 200 and it's going to automatically open the web page of the COMEX. So you would have to log in. By default, the username and password is admin admin. The configuration page of the COMEX 200 appear and you can go to the About menu to check that the firmware has been successfully installed. You can find the product versions information. So then you would have to follow the workflow of the various pages to configure your COMEX. So first under, under General Settings, Site Information, you can enter the site name. Then under Date Time Settings, you can configure the date and time of the COMEX 200. Under Data Login menu, you would have to configure the logging interval. And under Publication table, you would have to set up the publication platform for the COMEX 200. Under Communication Settings table, the first thing you have to verify is the Modbus serial parameters. So they have to correspond to the way that your meters are connected to the serial port of the COMEX 200. Under network settings, here you have to define the way the COMEX is connected to the network. So one thing to check is if you change the network configuration from two separate ports to two switch ports, this is going to cause a reboot of your COMEX 200. Next, you would have to set up the proxy settings if this is needed to connect to the customer network. After this, you would go to the device settings table. So in this table, you define all the devices that are connected to your COMEX. We are going to use the Discover Connected Devices button to automatically de discover devices connected to our COMEX. So the network is scanned and here you can see that we have discovered a PM3250 meter connected at the address 1 of the COMEX. So we can add it automatically. So now the PM3250 is added to our architecture, and if we select it, we are able to read real-time measurements from this meter, and this allows us to validate the communication between the COMEX and the meter. So in addition, we can also add uh, analog and digital inputs In our example, we are going to add the temperature sensor. So we add this analog input. It's a PT100, which is a device type available by default. So we can very simply add it to the COMEX 200. And similarly, if we select this PT100, we can read directly in the COMEX page, the real-time measurement, this temperature measurement. Once you have added all the devices connected to your COMEX, you can go to the measurements table. And from this table, you can have a synthesis of all the real-time measurements coming from the devices. After that, you would go to the commissioning page. So from here at the top, you have notification. And here you should see that your system configuration is OK. And then you can enable the data logging you can send the topology to your publication platform and so on.
you have then finalized the commissioning of your comics.